Yesterday was more like it. A couple of good results right there as we move into today. Five games again and this is just before we go into the possibly last window of the series. I don't think this is the last season but I, I don't know. It, it could be as we're going to make it a good one anyway. Five games to go. Really, really well in the league so far. Really good in the Europa League. See how we do. Yes guys, welcome back to the FIFA 21 Paris FC, season number 6, episode number 7. Spoiler alert for the results for tomorrow, they're not on screen, but I'm going to flick to them in a second, so make sure you've watched that one, make sure you subscribe and like if you're excited for this video, as there we go, they're the results from yesterday, as we still have one game in this month to play in November. We have Reniers on the 30th, let's make it a month to remember, no defeats in that one, as then we have Dijon, Monaco, Getafe and Nice. So we're probably going to play Monaco, Nice and Reniers because I think the Europa League thing is confirmed. I think we are confirmed through despite what happens against Getafe or if we're not, I will get them played and Dijon's definitely going to be the simulated one. But I think, I think Getafe are guaranteed to win it. I, I really do think they're guaranteed to win it and it's... FCSB closest after that, but I think there's a big gap as we've got Powell's wanting to leave the club as well. That's something that happened last episode as we've accepted an offer from Valencia, but we'll accept this one from Fulham as well if he wants to leave. We've only got a little bit left of this save, so we'll let him leave and jump straight into this game as Monaco have played their game in hand. They are now two points above us, but if we win it, we go one point above them and of course we play them today, so we can go further above them as it's Reniers at home. No, yeah, I think at home, I wasn't sure, I didn't look, but I know they're in, I think, 12th, is it? As we're going to go with this team, it's Verbruggen in goal, Valerie, Matip, and Dika Dinier, Koulibaly, Masango, Mastrati, Bauman, Elise, and Antoine Griezmann. The usual suspects. And let's have a look at Renier's team, Ortega in the goal. Okay, Al Sharani, Calero, Cisse, and Bui at the back with Leah Saliki, Fasino, and Elena, Kadil, Cunyasa, and Del Castillo. Very good team. And Masengo straight away with the ball right here as Masengo goes one way, now goes the other into an Antoine Griezmann. Elise on it. He, oh, look at the footwork on that. Skilled straight past him onto Bauman. And Bauman cuts inside as well. Can he get a shot straight away? What a save. Ortega. Oh my days. I want to see that again. That might be the highlight of the episode, like, altogether. And it's coming the first minute. What a stop. Honestly, amazing from a goalkeeper as the ball's whipped in straight away, though. Griezmann got his head on it. Bauman with an awkward shot, but someone should have just run across the line of the goal. Again, though, a promising start to this game as Del Castillo now gives it into Cunha Saar. Just going to put the pressure on him with Matty as Del Castillo has to go all the way. Can we knock him off the ball a little bit? Not really, but Carlos Alenia, he's a very, very skillful player. And the ball in the middle, Cunha Saar tries to cut away and Indica with an easy read. So... 16 minutes on this one. We're going to try and attack at them again. Griezmann trying to get around the man. Almost. A little shove on him there. But, of course, never a free kick, I don't think. As we've got a tackle on Vecino. Keep on going there. We go. Won it. Griezmann tries to fit it straight through. But we do keep the ball. It's bouncing back to us a lot. Being fortunate for once. As Bauman's through as well. Turns. Shoots. And that one in saved by Ortega. An awkward goal, that one. I don't know how it really fell to us. But... 1-0 already in 20 minutes. It is a great finish. Look at that. Ball through, and he lets it run across him. Defender just lets it run across as well, which is a weird one from the number 17. Turns, fires, and into that bottom corner. 1-0. Very good start from us. If we get the ball straight away as well, Matip into Ali Mastrati. First games have regular been a good one for us at the moment, as Bauman has started scoring this season as well. Low, well, slow there. Meant to say slow instead of low as Elise now with it. I'm just trying to make a move right here. Griezmann through the middle. And Elise with it now as well again as he gives it fist into Ankara Griezmann. As Griezmann put that over the top. What a ball. Elise with a volley. Another great save. Ortega. Mustrati looking for an angle. Goes around the houses. Can Mustrati whip it in now? Tries to. But Vecino with the whack away. And Dinier with a header straight away. Good touch from Masengo. 
He goes for a long one, gonna bounce right here to El Sharani, Ortega. And now they'll pass it out from the back. And now Renier's trying to pass it away. We've got nine minutes left on this one. Del Castillo and Digne. Absolutely bloody beautiful, mate. What a tackle. As now Koulibaly's going to be released down this side. He's going to keep on running. Keep on going, Koulibaly. Keep on going. Now cuts in slightly again. Goes for a shot at the near post. And a weak one. And Leah Saliki here with it as well. Trying to cut away from us a little bit there. Gives it into Kadil. 45 minutes on the clock. Just need to get a tackle in. Look at the bloody footwork. Matip. We do get a tackling on, but still they've got the ball. Vecino tackled, and Dika get it away. They're putting a bit of pressure on at the end of that first half, but we do have the lead at the break, and apart from that little stint, still they didn't get a shot off with it as well. Zero shots from them. Beautiful stuff. We have been the better team. Head and shoulders. Head and shoulders above them in quality, should I say as well. Head and shoulders just on its own. Sounds rather weird as we need to try and win this ball straight away. Bauman, header. Yes, wins it. He's doing really well at the minute, Jonas Bauman. Just needed to reach a man with it, though. Next part in his development, anyway. Trying to reach a man as we've got to try and win this right here. Kadil goes all the way backwards. 53 minutes on the clock right now. They've gone down the line. It's over, Valerie. It was always a little bit out of position for my liking, but Ndika. Him and Mastratis have come in. Matip as well, but Matip's been here, what, one game longer? So, yeah, all three of them, really, have been... Just amazing. Immaculate since have come in. Same with Griezmann and Koulibaly as the new signings have really made an impact. Koulibaly running down the line as well. Can he whip one in? Tackled. And a chance to whip it in again right here. So we're going to whip it into the near post. Griezmann almost there but just not as Ali Mastrati with it right here. Jan Valery trying to run around. Ali or Valery. Don't know why I'm calling him Ali. Trying to whip it in. I thought there was a potential handball there but again nothing given. Mastrati whips it in deep trying to win it. And it's given us offside. And they've got a run for right here. It's Renier's through. And Verbruggen, I didn't even notice you were bloody there, mate. Carl Salenia has levelled it up 64 minutes on the clock. It's Renier's back in the game. I told you they didn't have a shot on target. Or a shot even at all. But I can safely say now they have. And it's 1-1. Great finish. I mean, it's just, it's just weaved away from Joel Matty. And into that bottom corner. Absolute domination, but only a point so far if it stays like this. Del Castillo with the ball dribbled right here into Carlos Salenia. Into Cadil right now. He gets a shot off and it's off the inside of the post. Oh my days. Renier's could have just been in the lead right there. We're very lucky. Verbruggen just watched that sail onto it. I mean, I thought he was going to get beaten for a set there. As the throwing straight in as well into Norman. Can we try and keep the ball? No, we can't. Into Norman again, though. And Kutchasar run around Carlos Alenia. It is 2-1. Carlos Alenia. The ex-Barcelona boy has made it two for himself and two for Reniers as they have turned the game on its head. Work to do in this game and not long to do it in. Sarechasar with a really good turn. Pass in the middle. And it's not as corners as I thought it was over Bruggen. Maybe partially to blame, maybe could have got down, but of course we know he's a very tall keeper and doesn't dive low enough. In a dramatic moment near the end right there, so we're going to try and fight for a leveller in the moment as it's Griezmann passing into Leonard. I am going to try and go ultra attacking at the moment as Danny Ceballos is on the field as well. He's going to pass it to the side. Bauman with a chance to whip it in, not really. Players I want in the box, of course. We don't have... The tall man who we usually subbed on anymore. I even forgot his name. I forgot the Brazilian striker's name. How am I so forgetful? As they're trying to attack again at us right here. Sarecha Sar onto Carlos Alenia. On for a hat trick. Dinier's just been bumped off the ball and it's off the post again. It could be 4 1 to them. What has happened at the second half of the second half? It's been shocking. Danny Sabios to try and dribble it away. Can we get a goal back? It's Bauman into Griezmann and we can't even pass in a straight line, Bauman. I gave you so much praise when you scored this first goal, but you've just been shocking us. Come on, defence. Get the ball. You're just ball watching and we're 2-1 down. We're playing shocking as Matty, there we go, shoves his player off the ball with the strength. I knew he had as Bauman's release through right here. Can he make up for that misplaced pass? Cuts inside, reaches Masengo. Good touch in front, blocked by the defender, Calero. And it is going to be a corner to end this game. I mean, we've even got Verbruggen up. It's going to go in. Terrible one. Absolutely terrible. Verbruggen with it though. He's going to shoot from range. The keeper! Why did I even think that was a good idea? 2-1 in the end to Reniers. 
and we have lost at home. The gap between us, Monaco and PSG is going to be there. We're going to drop down to third as it's a really good performance from Reniers. Puts us in the mud a bit. And I'm just looking at the academy right now. I don't think I want to promote any of them players just yet. But my days. What a turn up from the, for them. And shut up. Elise, you are getting on my nerves way too much. Asking, oh, I shouldn't have come off. You should play me more in the future. Mate, you've got to rest. You're tired. And if you want us to play this game against Dijon, it's a good job I rested you, isn't it? As we're going to see if he is fit. If he's not, I'm not going to play him at all. He... he well, he isn't, but I'm still going to play him. I expected him to be fit. Same team again. A little bit tired, but these are in 16th, and it's a simulated one. So, I do trust it. We've got to get his best ratings out there when it's simulated. So, please do not lose again. As it's going to be 3-2 in the end. A very tight one, actually. And Dika with the first minute goal. Ricky replies two goals in the first three minutes. Griezmann misses a penalty. And then Cordova makes it 2-1 to them. But Bauman... And Elise, it's a good job we kept him in, isn't it? Complete the comeback for us. And it's going to be straight on to Monaco. We've got two top scorers here as well. Ben Yedda and Kulo Moani. He's got 13. Ben Yedda's got 11. Of course, Griezmann almost there as well. He's got a couple. Of, we're only five points behind PSG. We've dropped off two points. But in this title race, two points is a lot in terms of between first and second. It, it never gets made up. They don't lose games, PSG. Never. And Powell's will be joining Fulham. He's decided he wants to go to England. Rejected Sociedad, Valencia, and someone else like Villarreal. So good luck to him at Craven Cottage for the Monaco game in third place. Oh, our team looks dead on its feet. What is this? How the hell are we supposed to compete with a team like that? Look at the centre backs. Undika and Matty really not coping with it. I'm just going to have to push them over the edge a little bit. The colour of Bali, 42, 36. From the, I've got to take Undika off. I don't want to, but he's in the red zone on his fitness, as most players are as well. But we've got to try it. Oh, we've got to try it. What a game not to have fit players. But I guess that's because the team's put itself on ultra-attacking when we were 2-1 down to Dijon. Oh, my day. At least we've got a little bit of a rest before Getafe. And I mean a little bit. Then Nice... Then, of course, we'll play Angus in the next episode and a full international before we go into the transfer window. So, central, play match. And honestly, I think I'd take a draw with that team. With how tired it is, I think I'd take a draw. Don't want to say it, but I've gone ahead and done it. And let's have a look at the Monaco team. It's Matthews in goal. Okay, Arujo, Lacroix and Lowe at the back. Martins, Rakic, Dequire and Bergeris. Ben Yedda, Nian supporting Colo Muani. So they've got the two top scorers in there. That means threat. It means maybe a hard game for us as Colo Tumani. Nian, Ben Yedda around the back. Good save, Bruggen. Timed that uh, coming out approach to perfection to stop them from getting the shot off on the angle as Bergwies with the corner as well. Bauman does win that header backwards a little bit onto Lacroix as Griezmann tries to win it as well. Radic. With the spin, and he's going to keep on going. Koulibaly, there we go. He's going to try and run it down this line. Koulibaly, keep on going. Turns out right here in the middle to Antoine Griezmann. As Griezmann now onto Elise. Elise out wide, and it's Digne coming forward. I mean, we haven't got much pace, but if we just keep using each other like this, we should be fine. Look at Griezmann through the middle. Hit that first time, Griezmann, near post. And it's a save from their keeper this time. One for one. As we're going to whip this corner in. Can we do better from the corner? Griezmann wins his header. Oh my days. To say he's a little man. He does win a lot of those. As Jan Valery wins his as well. On to Digne. The other small man. Shoots across the floor. And should have got it off the ground. Olomouani back to Lacroix. Over the top into Rajkic here. As he finds the ball to Nian. Now one of the non-top scores. I know he's going to do really well now. I've said that. As he sweats it across to Jelson Martins. We've got plenty of players in the way though. And it's a miss sweep. We still don't win the ball, Joel Matty, do we? And it still falls back to Nian. And of course, like I said, he's going to score now. I've said something about him. That's just how it works. 1-0 the away side. Monaco take the lead. And this game, this today isn't turning out as well as I thought it would in fixtures. But to be fair, Matty looks like he has it. And Jan Valery trips him up. Jan Valery, he's a good player. Don't get me wrong, he's good going forward, but... Defensively and position-wise especially, he does not have a Scooby-Doo where he is. And a free kick right here. 
A rough tackle right there. No way, he's been sent off. Ali Mastrat is being sent off for what? For what? I just heard their fans go mental, but it's not showing the replay. I'm going to try and get another replay on this myself. I don't think it's a red card tackle, you know. If we go to hide that and control it like this, what's happened? Has he gone through the back of him? We've got the ball right there. I can't really do this very slow. And he, he doesn't get the ball, but does he actually touch his foot at all? Yeah, yeah, he gets his ankle. Mastrati, you idiot. It's going from bad to worse as Bamba wins the ball right here. He's going to try and dribble it forward. The Ivory Coast International now got the call up. Well done for him, but not for him in this game because we're having a real big struggle as Griezmann with room to just march forward. The pass to Masengo is a sloppy one from Antoine. Through the middle there, though. And Koulibaly just needed to make his run a bit more eagerly. Try to narrow down the angle right there. And Lacroix with a pass into Daquan. It's going to be a big struggle right now. Tired team as well. And Mastrati, who I praised today. Of course, I praised him. And he goes and gets sent off in one of the most important games. The second most important game of the season. As we've back that out, though, into Griezmann. Can Griezmann get this across? He almost does. Not too much pace on the ball, though. Jelson Martin still run at us right here. As he's going to just... Skillers like he usually does in the middle colour. No, I mean, Nian. 2-0. Two, two for Nian. We're going to collapse. We've got two men. Uh, one man sent off, should I say. 2-0 down. Just no passion, desire, or fitness. And do we need to see this again? Well, if you do, there you go. Average finish at best. Good passing, but we shouldn't have conceded it as Antoine Griezmann. Bauman, continue. You're running Griezmann. Get stronger passes, mate. Like... You are a really good player. Your shots are venomous, but your passing is just sloppy as, well, I don't know what. As Radjkic with the passing to Colo Numami now right here. It's out wide into Jelson Martins. Martins just holds it up as well. He's going to go backwards all the way with it. And Matty does get the tackle in, so Elise around the corner and through. And that's half time. 2 0 down. Very tired team. And no passion, no desire. I mean, PSG are losing, which is a good sign, but. Will that hold on? I don't know, because I'm hoping this doesn't hold on here anyway. Let's try and get a comeback. Saying that, though, it is a big comeback that we need, and, of course, not much time to do it in, and I'm dreading this Getafe game, because we're going to be absolutely on our knees for fitness. It's going to be horrible. It's cool. Lavalli with the pass right now into Griezmann. Griezmann just to try and dribble it. Can Elise make a good move? He cannot. Runs just behind the defender like he doesn't want the ball, although... Their keeper really risking it with that pass, and we still didn't jump on it. And Ben Yedder right here, just shrugs and Deeker off the ball. Oh, Bamba, should I say, Verbruggen with a terrific save. I mean, the keeper's always got fitness because he's always buddying the team, but that was a close one, as we're going to take Griezmann off. Got to save players somehow, and Griezmann's one of those tired ones. Him, Koulibaly, and Valerie, I think, right now, on the other centre-back, Matip. So, got to rest those if anyone, as Elise loses the ball as well. Ben Yedder. It's on to Kolo Muambi across the box. Get there, please. Oh, my God. Rajic just shrugged Koulibaly off, who I do think has to come off the field as well. He's not doing that well. Doll absolutely dead. There's now Masengo on to Bauman. Bauman. Can he find Maleka? Maleka's got fresh legs, of course, and these defence, the three at the back, hasn't. So let's try and drill at them, because usually we're good against three at the back, just not today, as it's Jelson Martins on to Tusha Mermengi or something. I didn't really see that name. So I'm going to go a bit more attacking. Verbruggen, pass into Joel Matty, into Han Noah right here as he goes the line to Koulibaly. And Koulibaly to try and cut inside. Maleka, make that move. It's Jackson Maleka. He's going to get there. No, he isn't. Lacroix does. And Bauman with the ball right here. But it's Jonas Bauman into Koulibaly, across to Maleka. On to Masengo right here as Han Noah's going to try and run. Keep going, Han Noah. Keep going. As we need to try and cut back into Maleka. First touch is a good one. Shot just can't come off because Lacroix is covering them like mad. He's doing very well. At least to say we've got a tired team. We're doing a lot better in this second half. As Maleka onto Bauman right here. Bauman turns out. Maleka, you're my thick striker at the moment. So I need to get the ball to you a lot. Maleka turns inside. Goes for a shot. Blocked. Handball. Surely no. Referee's not helping us out. Of course he ain't helping us out. He sent one of his bloody players off as Masengo now. Uses that Bauman run as a decoy. Han Noah always has a bit of stamina left in the tank. As he finds Koulibaly who doesn't. But he can shoot. 
Straight down the throat of Mateus. Colo Mwani put the pressure on him. It was going backwards a lot right here. The number three, Mati, all the way up the field. Masengo the same as we get the ball given to us right here. Koulibaly, good pressure to say he's absolutely dead, Tangi Koulibaly. Has Bauman running through right here. Can he sweaty this across? He does find Malaika. Turn, shoot. Malaika, I, I trusted you putting you on, mate. And you have not repaid me at all. It's been shocking from him. As we've only got a little bit left as well. As Ben Yedda gets it over the top. Ben Yedda, Joel Matip. Oh, great from Joel Matip. Just out strengthens him. But still a bit late to do that as Lowe wins the ball as well from the defence. Our striker and Cam a little bit too tired to get onto that. Great tackle right there. Not the same for Matip because he doesn't even get anywhere near it. As Valerie, good slide but still not enough. Nian chips. Oh, and it's rolled in off the post. Nian Hattrick, 3-0 Monaco against 10 men. Justice on a plate, really. We haven't taken the chances. I'd say a hint of unluckiness in the second half, but they deserved it in the first. Monaco have humbled us right here. We're going to drop further into third place and just prioritise the Europa League a lot more as it stands. We're still in the Champions League spots, but I got a bit of... Bit of hope at one point. We challenge for the league, but that's just stamped out right here. As the whistle's blown straight away as well. Monaco are going to take all three points back to where they came from, and we're just going to hold our heads low in the capital. It's a dark night, a very dark night, a rainy one as well. Do not remember this day. And as we're straight onto the Europa League in Catafe, yeah, it's impossible to chase them. FCSB are where they are as well, so it's literally a nothing game so at least that gives me a bit of faith in playing my reserves we cannot come out of second at all so youth boys you are up as we we have it i know they're very 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 tired every single one of the oh well not tired but not to match sharpness but i think for the first time ever in this save we have a full Regen 11, so it's Carlier in goal, Gilles, Sorechisar, Hernandez and Ricky Gervais at left back, of course I call him that, with Leonard still on the wings, he hasn't got as much game time as he should do and his dribbling needs to go up as well, that's something I've noticed and I'm training him to do as Lemons and Leroy just come through the academy straight into the first team, Noel on the right this time with Nice in camp supporting Escalante up front so i'm not going to try as young out I, I don't rate young i'm sorry i really don't rate young but let's see how it goes with this very weakened 11 against first place getafe have they got their first team out we'll get to see right here i'm just hoping and praying they've gone a bit rotational as well but it, it looks like they have a little bit but still rotated as in backups not reserves and i've gone full on reserves as i expect to get hammered but anything else is welcomed as, as as a benefiter as we've lost 2 nil and of course i expected that her stitch with a goal for them and a van Swek. but at least our youth players have given it a go and we've received five million because we have gone through in the europa league that's a good thing and we should have fixtures arranged for next time we play them as psg and marseille drew so actually we're in fourth not even third that's great as we go into the last game of the episode against Nice, hopefully with a fitter team. And then we've got one more Angus and a full rest. So we'll actually have a bit of time to rest as these are in 15th, like I just said. Fully fit team apart from Digne, which stupidly subbed on. Why did I keep him on the bench for that last game? And we're going to have to put Mastrati out because he's got a red card suspension. Danny Sabios, not Name. Sorry, Name. And Adika can come back in as... Yeah, same team, really. Again, you know the drill. And we're away from home, so it's their lineup first today that we get to see as Nice. 15th, Sanchez Ayala in goal for the back, like us now. Miguel, Maria Pan, Kufat, and Fonesca with Horta, El Nene, and Kurtowski. They're good player there with Guerri, Froling, and Braziao on the wing. It's an alright team, shouldn't be in 15th. So I'm not worried for them, but they should be a lot higher up as Elise gets the ball straight away. On to Bauman, and we've won it. Can we try and win this game immediately? Would be really good to get a first-minute goal. Griezmann, just to try and cheer me up a little bit after the worrying results today in game. Of course, two defeats so far. We've got to switch it. It's cooler Bali with a throw in as well. Griezmann, tap that. Oh, I went to just tap it over his head. How clean would have that been if it worked out, of course, as Horta. Going backwards, we're going to put the pressure on them. They've whacked it forward. That's easy for 
Bart Verbruggen, who just needs to pass it in the middle. Drilled into Masengo, but did work out in the end. Bit risky, mate, as Danny Ceballos... God, he's, he's miles off Bauman. Very delayed pass as well. Danny Ceballos, header, Elise, Masengo. Looks for Bauman in a one... One on one race, but he did win it, of course. Griezmann on it right now in the middle to Danny Ceballos. Elise just needed to turn really quick there and get on that ball, but didn't do it as Kurtowski onto Froling and Froling to dribble at us right here, boys. Let's go to him, please. Come on, let's not just let him dribble as we've tried to put a tackle in there. And then Dika reads it, but still, we haven't won the ball fully. Kurtowski into Guerri. Guerri's behind us right here and shoots and scores. Nice take the lead right here. Oh my days, it's t it's just rank defending. Absolutely rank, it's, it's stinky. Let's look at this, straight through, pass right there. Shot across net into the back of the net. It's even down the throat of uh, Bruggen. Needs to save that one. Shocking. And Jan Valery to dribble it away. So, on to Bauman right here. This Bauman's going to try and step it inside. Passes it backwards into Danny Ceballos. Danny Ceballos into Elise. And Elise just to turn... And try and run it right here. It's got a man out wide. Koulibaly. What can Tangi Koulibaly do right here? Elise. Elise one more on to Masengo. And Masengo loses it out to Andre Horta. Horta on to Guerri. And Guerri oh, tried to get a tackle in. But Frolin just taps it away as well. And Horta. It's really good from Nice to be fair to them. But still, I expect us to be matching or at least better quality than them. But their quality is really good at the moment. As Griezmann running on. With it right here, pokes it through to Elise, who's got pace, but never getting on that one. Griezmann, step up with passing, please, mate. First time I've had to really criticise Antoine, but he's not playing well at the moment. Although he has scored a lot of goals, he's not doing too great. He hasn't scored today, I don't think, as Elise right here. Please make it so I've jinxed him, he does, but no. Blocked right there and throwing with the ball, but Masenga with a great tackle. Griezmann, turn, pass it to Elise. Just make that run, keep going, get a good touch, it's a good touch, strikes, and there we go. I have jinxed him, he scored straight away. It's 1-1 here at Nice, still not the best result so far, we need to win this one. Good finish from Antoine though, look at that, takes a touch to the side of him, puts it through, great touch away from the defender, and bang, we're all square. And 41 minutes on the clock, I mean, I just wanted to get that replay out of the way really quick, because I want to move on as Griezmann through to Elise. Can we actually take a lead before half time? Elise, dodgy first touch, but finishes it into the side netting. We have turned it around two goals in literally two real-life minutes. I think I don't know how many in-game, but Mikel Elise joins in, and we at least will go into half-time 2-1 up. It's not even a comeback throughout the whole game. It's just a comeback of one half. It's a great ball poked through. Finish is just struck cleanly into the bottom corner. 2-1, and straight away the whistle for the break as Frolling has the ball. Brilliant stuff. Very, very happy with how it's going so far, and we will move on straight to the next half. Hoping just for it to be the same, really, but not concede straight away. And Elise with the ball right here as he goes back to Danny Ceballos into Elise again. So he's going to go through the middle onto Antoine Griezmann, and it's a quick return. Elise to run with it right here, though. Can he try and find an angle? Oh, just try to move inside, but unfortunately, it didn't work out. Although Miguel was very slow with the ball there for a second. I thought he was going to give us it back as Bam with a tackle. Koulibaly looking for Griezmann but just can't find him. And Kurkowski with a pass out to Froling. Meh half so far. As I just noticed as well as Niels Nkulu comes on. We've bought both of Everton's real life left backs. Niels Nkulu and Luca Digne. How amazing is that without realising. As we've got Chuff out on the ball right here. Into Mohamed El Nenny. Tried to get the tackling right there. Horta gets the pass off to Kukowski. Don't let them level it up. Joel Matip tries to clear, but the defender in the way. Oh, their player in the way. Gessand with a chance to shoot. And Verbruggen, great save one-on-one. -on -one. Gessand, of course, the player I've been rumoured with every single window in signing. I never know if I'm going to pull the trigger or not with him as Koulibaly to keep it. Griezmann, header over the top is a great one on to Niels and Kulu. Running forward already. As he gives it into Antoine Griezmann. What can Griezmann do right here? Tries to get away from him. Cuts on. Elise, right side of the defender. Hits it off the post. Griezmann still to keep it. Oh, and he runs straight into Mohamed El Nene. Should be three. Denied by the woodwork. And Horta has a gap through right here. Verbruggen, time you move. Great save. Gessand. Oh, offside. No, one it offside. It was behind all the defence. It was behind the goalkeeper. 
2 2. It's been given, so there's nothing I can do about it, but just watch the replay. As Nice have their level up, but I'm sure it was offside. Look at this. Great save. It's saying poor from the keeper. I don't think it was. Bloody hell. It's 18. Who's 18? It's Ndika, I think, who just kept running. Just stop running. He kept Horta on side, and of course, Horta goes and punishes us by scoring us. That's a foul straight away. 20 minutes to go in this one. I don't want a point. I don't want a point. I want to win all the games today. As Danny Sabias with a header down into Leonard. Leonard to try and turn right here into Antoine Griezmann. As Griezmann, can he find a player? Yes, he can. Just over the top to Jonas. As Jonas is going to continue to dribble with it. Sabias. Miguel with a good interception, as only as far as Masenga though does get there first. Beautiful from Hanoa into Bauman. Urgency is there. Griezmann round the corner. It's Simon Leonard off the bench, and he scores at the near post. It's back to 3-2, and Simon Leonard off the bench for Elise to make it that way. What a finish from him. Look at this. Pass inside. Another pass inside. Good touch, and finished into the bottom corner. Absolutely brilliant work. We regain a lead, and that's just what we needed as... Oh, just can't win the ball right there, but 10 minutes of this fixture left as Gessand has the ball at the right side of us right there. Just gets past us in the middle. Nielsen Kula with the tackle. And Dika, get rid of it, please. But he doesn't, so we're just going to have to keep on plodding along as El Nenny gets his shot blocked or pass blocked by Ndika. On to Antoine Griezmann now, and can we kill it off? No. Manny Appan defends him well. I think people are starting to pick up on Antoine Griezmann's footwork and it's annoying me because he's always blocked off as Gessan with the run through the middle. Matty, great strong lunge across. That's the slide tackles I want to make. So he chips it over the top to Danny Ceballos. Not a good control. I want him to just whack that as well, Danny Ceballos, but he doesn't. Tackle again though. Onto Bauman. Bauman to turn out and not really get a pass off, but we'll give it right there. Onto Danny Ceballos. Now onto Leonard as Leonard through that middle as well, onto Antoine Griezmann, and Griezmann to try and run it forward a little bit here as well, pass it backwards, Bauman, now onto Leonard, Griezmann through the middle, Griezmann's going to get on the end of this, touch, bang, Griezmann saved, rebound, great block from Mariapan, who's their best player, but the whistle goes as well, it's a 3-2 win away from home, and finally, something to cheer about at the end of the episode, we have won, three points, and Ali Mastrati is back available, after, of course, his suspension. So he will be back for Angus as... What's this, Jan Valerie? Happy that he's been put in the team. I'll keep putting you there. I, I want to see a bit more improvement from him. But I'll keep putting you in that team because, of course, you are my starter. As we are back up to third. Nice, nice. Wish we'd be a bit higher up than that as it's Angus up next. Big break after Angus as well. Almost a month the before. St. Etienne, Montpellier and Strasbourg. But there will be a cup game in there as well. And, of course, transfers. We're into the window. We're getting 30 million for Powell's as well as 20 million. Very, very nice for us. As unfortunately, guys, this is the end of the episode right here, though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe with the notification bell. And as well, if you do miss any bit of content, you will be reminded by the bell just going off and your notification coming through. As yes, guys, almost at 3.3, which is amazing. Let's aim for 3.5 before October. If we could do that, well, that would be amazing. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care in a bit. And peace.